Welcome to today's video. Your boy is free out of the hotel room and I actually have some really exciting news to tell you guys later on in the video. Um, in short, I might not be stuck here as long as I thought, which is really exciting. But we got some new parts for the S13 to show you today. What the hell? Huh? Okay, so when I drove from the hotel here, that definitely was not there. And I don't feel like it's cold enough out for ice. What? How is there an ice? Like, it's attached to the ground. The hell? Okay, then. Yo, it is clear. It is, like, see-through. Some, like, expensive ice. Um, all right, then. Maybe wind chill does that? Is that, like, you, like a normal thing? Like, it hasn't been sitting here that long. That's kind of crazy. Weird. Um, but, yeah, we got some parts for the S13 today. And, uh, probably... I mean, I'd like to see this car look entirely different by the time we come back to the States. And this is definitely a move in the right direction. And here we have a delivery that literally just arrived this morning. Perfect timing for getting out of quarantine. And as you guys know, we've worked with Koenig before on the channel. They've looked after a bunch of my cars in Japan. They even looked after the giveaway Miata when we were last here in the States. So when it came to getting some wheels for the S13, didn't really look any further. Let's have a look at what we got here. Always love opening new wheels. I'll take out these little pieces here that kind of lock everything in place. Got some big boys. I am a little bit concerned about if these are gonna fit in the rear. So I love Koenig's product. Really good bang for buck. Wheel, super strong, really light. And they look good. Look at that. Just pretty much everything you want for a drift car. Beautiful. So these are the Hypergram. Uh, we went with the nice polished lip and we got that nice black metallic center there. Look awesome. Let's see if we can pull this out. And these are a 10.5 plus 25, I believe. They have it stamped right here. Yep, so we went by 18 by 10.5 plus 25, which is pretty much the wheel size I go for all of my S chassis stuff in Japan on the S15. That's what we run in the rear. And we also, we went for a staggered set. So the fronts, we're gonna be running 17s, uh, which will be a nine plus 20. Um, and yeah, like I said, the rears will be that. We got some more rears on the way, so we're gonna have some drift spares, but I think these are gonna look really good on the S13. I nearly said 15. Um, I wanna know if it's gonna fit in the guard in the rear as they are now, um, but yeah, hmm. I know some people are gonna be upset because um, there's a very good chance that I'm gonna be cutting up perfectly good rear quarter guards on this S13. Um, to fit over fenders, but um, it's a drift car. Like, I mean, it's what's gonna happen. Grant just called and he told us to come out and listen to his new exhaust. Wow, that's loud. The hell, that is ridiculous. That's ignorant. It's pretty loud. It's it's bad. So it's loud. It like, sounds pretty good in comfort. Would yeah. The lower one. I don't know though. The, the way that thing took off though. It's fast. Yeah. They're quick. It's cool. <sighs> kind of a little nervous. I really hope these fit. I mean, if they don't, it's not the end of the world. Like I said, I'm kind of planning to just chop all of this out. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, maybe, maybe we're gonna get lucky here. Whew. Oh 
Oh, it's close. I want to see what it's going to look like compressed. We're looking pretty close up here to the chassis too. Huh. Let me show you, like it's, once it compresses, it's gonna come in a little bit. You know, we've obviously, uh, with the car jacked up and stuff, that's just how it works. But like, we are right on the line there. And these are already pumped out a fair bit, pretty bad to be honest. I don't know who did that job, but, um, it's pretty like, yeah, just like the tiniest bit. I'm gonna just go see um, if I can get like another jack or maybe something like, soft like some blankets or something to sit under that to just put some of the weight of the car on it and just see if it kind of comes in actually you know what? i'm not going to do that that's just a bit sketchy i don't want to damage the wheels without a tire being on there but like you can see as well up in here it's really close to the body I'm not touching the coil or anything there's a good like inch or so there so that's fine that's pretty good and I mean, probably we're gonna to go to over fenders anyway, so the over fenders will come out to like a little bit further and we can put a bit of a spacer on that. But I think these are gonna look really good. I like that. The best thing about these wheels is pretty much any color that we change the car to, these are gonna look good on them, I think. I like it. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. I love this machined lip. It looks beautiful. These are a really nice wheel. Good job, Koenig. Definitely better than uh, RPF ones in my opinion, that's for sure. Okay, I had to see what this was gonna look like so I put the rim protectors back on and I just slid this piece of wood under here and we're just gonna take off some weight on the jack and just see roughly where this is gonna sit. We shouldn't damage the wheel. Yeah, that looks actually really good. So pretty much all the weight's off it now Yo, look at that fit, man. Nice. Yo, look at that. That's actually awesome. That's kind of sick. What? Yo, I like that, but that's some serious camber going on. <laughs> Jeez. Definitely want to dial that out to zero, so we are going over fenders no matter what. Sorry to anyone who didn't want to see me cut up these guards. They are going to get chopped eventually. I don't know when or how it's going to happen, but it is. Hang on, I need to I need to show Tommy. I need to show Tommy. I need to get his opinion on this, what he thinks. So that doesn't fit? It doesn't fit, no. It's oh, actually yeah. pretty. It's pretty. I mean, with no tire, it's like hella fluff. Yeah, like that. I wonder what these would have looked like though. They were probably they were, they were tucked, like but they were right on the edge too. Like you can see like the previous guy like pumped this out pretty bad. What size is this tire? Uh 255. Yeah, 255, 40R, 17, but the wheels are like 1710. 10? Yeah, 10. 1020s. Yeah. Yeah, so what'd you do at 10 and a half 15? Yeah, 10 and a half 25. So it's pretty close, like look in here, like it, it's close to the body, oh, but it's perfect. What'd you do for the front? Uh, the fronts will be nine plus 20. So what size tire do you put on this? It'll be a uh, 265 35. That's not gonna fit. I don't know, man. It's not gonna fit. If the it's already pumped off, out a bit, it might be okay. These are out. Look, regardless, we're probably pretty similar to these. If these are 17, 10, 18. Yeah. And those are... If it doesn't fit, I'll just raise it for now so it's movable. Because we're going to cut out the fender anyway. I'll put a 245 on it. Nah, I already ordered the tires, so we're just going to deal with it. <laughs> All right, back to the RPF ones for now. Like, yeah. These honestly come to the same position. Oh, almost. Maybe just a tiny bit, but like the tire's pretty much almost touching there as well. Yeah. They're very similar fitment. The only thing is that the 265, it's gonna be very tight, that's for sure. 
I just ordered some tires so we can get those new wheels mounted up and see what they're gonna look like. I managed to actually get a nice set of Valinos, the same setup that I run in Japan. So I'm really excited about running those here on the car in the States. But I also wanted to show you guys, I've decided to upgrade a bunch of my equipment to kind of get the quality to a whole nother level for the channel. Starting off my traveling laptop, fully upgraded that, went and got the latest brand new Razer. This thing has a RTX 3070 in there. It's gonna have, I got the RAM upgrade coming for it now, but it's gonna have 64 gig of RAM and three terabyte of SSD storage. It has, uh, the i think the 11th gen i7 in there thing is awesome and it just like turbo boosts up to 4.3 gigahertz all the time beast of a laptop gets my editing done really really fast and it has incredible power management the best thing that i'm excited about is that it has a total of three usb a ports two usb c ports hdmi audio jack and a card reader this pretty much reminds me of the 2015 macbook pro which was the best macbook pro they ever released um, before they uh, apple went downhill and uh, this is pretty much that but windows and so much more crammed in there it's an absolute beast so um yeah, really excited about that. My old Razer laptop, if anyone is actually interested, this one is for sale. I used it for about uh, almost two years. It's got an RTX 2060 in there, 32 gig of RAM, 1.5 terabyte of SSD storage. Um, I think it has a ninth gen or a 10th gen i7. I'm not sure. Um, I'll have all the information. I'm just gonna list this on my website. Um, obviously, I traveled with this for a fair bit, so it has a few like nicks and you know scratches and stuff like that on it but it is in amazing condition and it's still a powerhouse and uh i think these things are still going like for this spec around like 1500 and i'm just going to list this on my website for like a thousand usd i think that's a fair price considering as well where the market's at right now but uh this thing's quite nice i got it all cleaned up and yeah still a beast of a laptop so if anyone wants that, it's gonna be on summit.net and uh, one of you guys can pick it up only for the US only. Um, I'm only gonna ship this to someone in the US or someone can come pick it up and meet me. I'm all down for that as well. Um, but camera stuff, all right? Laptop stuff aside, I bit the bullet. I spent a bunch of money on this. I hope it pays off. We're going full frame. We're going Sony. I went for an A7C. So this is kind of like the mid range in between the A7 and the A7S. Um, this should do everything that I need it to. Uh, that's what a lot of my other friends that are obviously into vlogging and stuff have been using. I went with a relatively like standard lens when there's a 24 to 70 uh, for aperture. I may go to a 2.8 one. We'll see how that one is with low light. But yeah, I just kind of splurged and went all out and got some big gear. Um, Vlogmas worked definitely really, really well for me. And I always want to make sure that when you guys, you know, support the channel, watch the channel so much and everything. And, uh, you know, that obviously benefits me financially. So I want to obviously put that back into the channel and help it grow even more. Um, 2021 was big for me. My goal was to hit 500K by the end of the year in subs. We smashed that. Um, and end of this year i think it's possible but one million one million subs i think we can do it if i set my mind to it i can do anything that's what i've always told myself and i've proven that time and time again and with some of the stuff that's going down and all the announcements and stuff that's coming i don't see why it's not going to be possible and uh i think we're going to be the first automotive youtube channel in japan to reach a million subs i think that's going to be super super cool i know there's a bunch of other channels out there that have some car content on them that probably have over a million subs i don't think so actually um but yeah there's definitely a few channels that are listed in japan that aren't in japan um but yeah i think the first official automotive youtube channel with a million subs would be a super cool title to have for Japan. So uh, I know we can do it. I know with you guys supporting me, we can. And uh, yeah, 2022, we're hitting the ground running, especially the moment we get back to Japan. That brings me up to my next thing that I want to talk to you guys about. So I did an antigen test last night, as last night was my last night in the hotel under quarantine and um, it already showed up negative, which means there's a good chance it's already completely out of my system. So I booked a proper PCR test. I am doing that first thing tomorrow morning, and if that turns out negative, I'm gonna jump on a plane right away. I could be back in Japan as soon as Friday, as soon as Thursday even. So I was planning to stay here, like I thought I was gonna be here for at least another two weeks, so I was just gonna like, you know, stack up some content and release them every second day. 
um, while I was in quarantine in Japan. So there may be a period of no uploads again, but once I'm back in Japan in quarantine, I only have to spend three days in a hotel and then I'm back home. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be able to be at the shop working on my car. There's a good chance I might not be able to, just depends on the quarantine rules and how they like um, deal with it. I don't know, I'll talk to them when I get to the airport and see if I'm allowed to be at my like place of business, if I'm the only person there or not. Um, but there's a good chance they won't let me and I have to stay home. If that's the case, live streams every day on the Twitch channel. I'll link that down in the description, but there's a good chance tomorrow I get the negative PCR. I'm gonna be back home by the end of the week, which is awesome because it is Mayumi's birthday on the 11th. And after the three days of hotel quarantine, I get to go home. And that means I should be there on her birthday, which I think will be awesome. We've already missed Christmas. We've already missed New Year's. But if we can get there for her birthday, I think that'll be the saving grace. So anyways, uh, with that, that's kind of all the updates and the information I have to give you. I'm really excited and hopefully we'll be back in Japan. I have some really exciting stuff to show you the moment we get back there and out of quarantine. It's gonna be a big year. Hope you guys are hyped. Rodnick's back in town. How was your day drifting? Am I allowed to say that? Yeah, that was, yeah, it was, was fine. Good. You have fun? Time. Enjoying yeah. a good seat time car? It's weird seeing you again. I, I know. Seen you in a while. It, it has been good. a while. Thanks. You Dude, did you see the facial hair at all? Did I, I send you a picture? I, wa I watched the beginning of your video where you were like fetal position just shooting. Oh yeah, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I was so lost, Look at dude. this guy upgrading his YouTube yeah, channel. Yeah, man. show this stuff? Yeah, yeah, we're doing it's quality a, upgrades. It's got a nice computer for sale if you guys didn't know yet, a thousand bucks. <laughs> Chris always trying to get the uh, the plugs in. Um, tomorrow is the day though. You know what's happening tomorrow? I got one last chance, what one you, last shot. Oh no, you're doing it? You're going up the hill? We're going up the hill. <laughs> Dude, I was thinking about doing it. I was like, yeah, Sam's sick. I might as well like try this. He put this all together. <laughs> I can barely walk as it is. I'm not gonna go up the hill, I'm good. All right, well, if I don't make it tomorrow and we don't break it, why don't you give it at least one go? We'll see. I think just we'll see how one go. I, I was kind of down until I saw you almost fly off the edge. That was like, mm, I don't want to do that. Yeah, no, you'll be fine. Just keep the wheel straight. Don't turn it like I did going down. Yeah, you like turn it. Because like I'm like trying to hit yeah, the brake and you're just dragging it yeah, down the hill. Yeah, so. I don't know. We'll see. That. It's going to be interesting. You're probably a better 4x4 driver than I am. That's for Honestly, sure. Honestly, the ground is colder, so it should be harder. Yeah. So you shouldn't and if we actually air the tires down this time, I think we got a good chance. Maybe if we get that snowstorm Friday, I'll try it. With the snowstorm? Wouldn't it be worse? <laughs> yeah. So much worse, but <laughs> could you imagine the snow rooster tail from that? That would oh, look it'd sick. It'd be so good, just burying it. Yeah. It'd look good ah, for sure. Snow, snow for being would be sick. Do you guys, what do you guys call it over here? Trucking, four buying, four by fouring? Off-roading. Off-roading, okay, yeah. That's how much I know about four wheel drive stuff, so. Yeah, I, that I, was I call super it off-roading. I would never call it trucking. <laughs> trucking? Yo, bro, you wanna go trucking? Trucking seems like something the squat fouring? guys would do. I think four by four would be like quads. Four by four. Four by four is kind of like an Australian term, I think, because you just go four x four, right? Four by four. Anyways, it's good seeing you again, man. Yeah, you too. You might yeah, be it's leaving been a while. tomorrow. Oh, dude, Did if things go well. That? Yeah, I've told him. I told him. Shit, man. Crap, man. Sorry, <laughs> Mr. PG's back in the house. No one's PG in this building but you. <laughs> so crap, man. At least I got that one thing to hold on to. Yeah. All right, Your dude. PGness. Yeah, oh. my PG. Well, that sounded so bad. PGness. <laughs> <laughs> Can't take this guy anywhere. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button, rise the comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Hopefully, I'll have at least another two videos queued up, um, and we'll obviously be in Japan. Fingers crossed that we get that negative PCR. If not, we're here for at least another I don't know, week before we can try again. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace. Jamata.